Good morning children. Welcome to class 4 mathematics chapter 5 factors part 2. In part 1 you already learned what are factors, properties of factors and divisibility rule. Today you are going to learn how to find out all the factors of a number and common factors. Finding all the factors of a number. We have two methods to find all the factors. First method is using multiplication. Second method is using division. Before that, let us recall what are factors. Look at this example. 5 into 3 is equal to 15. When we multiply 5 and 3, we got the product 15. Here, 5 and 3 are the numbers which we multiplied. So, we, we can say that 5 and 3 are factors of 15. And 15 is the product of 5 and 3. So, what are factors? Factors are the numbers which we multiply to get a product. Now, let us take one example to find all the factors. Find all the factors of 20. Here, what we have to do? We have to write 20 as a product of two numbers. We have to think all possible combinations. Okay, don't miss any factor. For that, we'll start from 1. And keep trying all possible numbers. You know that 1 is a factor of every number. So, try 1. We can write 20 as a product of 1 and 20. 1 into 20 equal to 20. So, 1 and 20 are factors of 20. What is after 1? 2. Now, we will try with 2. You know that 2 tables will go in 20. 2 times which number is 20? 2 times 10 is 20, right? Now, after 2, we will try with 3. Try 3. Check the tables of 3. 3 times any number is 20? No. So, we write not possible. Okay? Next, try with 4. 4 times which number is 20? 4 times 5 is 20. Okay? So, 4 and 5 are factors of 20. Next number, 5. Try 5. But we can see that 5 is already a factor here. So, what we do? We will stop. Because we have already found 5 as a factor of 20. So, we can stop here. Now, which are the factors of 20 now? If we go in the shape of U, see U shape, we will get all the factors of 20 in ascending order. So, which are the factors of 20? 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20 are the factors of 20. Now, when do we stop trying to find factors? We have any other way? Yes, we have. For that, we should know what are square numbers. What are square numbers? Square numbers means when we multiply the number, same number two times. What is the product? That is square square number. Example, 1. 1 into 1. 1 is a square number. 2 to the 4. 4 is a square number. 3 to the 9. 9 is a square number. 4 to the 16. 16 is a square number. What is the next square number then? 25. Next is 36. Next is 49. Okay. These are the square numbers. So, here our number is 20. Right? We have to find the next square number just after 20. What is that? 5, 5 is a 25. 25 is the square number just after 20. Now, 25 is the square number of which number? 5, right? So, we can stop 
prime factors here at 4 because how do we check that? We have to just check the square number just after the given number. Then here it is 5, 5 is 25. So we can store prime factors at 4. Is it clear girl, children? Now let us move on to the next example. Use multiplication to find all the factors of 48. Let us start with 1. You know the 1 and the number itself are factors of every number, right? So we can write 48 as a product of 1 and 48. So here 1 and 48 are the factors of 48. Next, try 2. First, we have to check 48 is divisible by 2 or not. For that, it's a big number. We have to use the divisibility rule. What is the rule, divisibility rule of 2? If the digits in the 1's place is 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8, then the number is divisible by 2. Here you can see this one's place is 8. So, 48 is divisible by 2. Let us see what is, when we divide 48 by 2, what is the answer we got? 24. So, we can write 48 as a product of 2 and 24. Now, 2 and 24 are the factors of 48. Now let us try with 3. Here also use the divisibility rule of 3. What is the divisibility rule of 3? If the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, then the number also divisible by 3. What is the sum of the digits here? 4 plus 8. What is 4 plus 8? 12. 12 is divisible by 3. Now we are sure that 48 is divisible by 3. Now let us divide and see 48 by 3. What is the quotient we got? 16. So we can write 48 as the product of 3 and 16. Now 3 and 16 are the factors of 48. Now try 4. You know the tables of 4. How many times 4 in 48? You know the tables. 4, 12 times, right? So 4, 12, 4 into 12 equal to 48. 4 and 12 are factors. Now try 5. Here, use the divisibility rule of 5. What is the divisibility rule of 5? If in the units place or ones place is 0 or 5, we can say that the number is divisible by 5. But here, 48. So, in the ones place, it is 8. So, not possible. Now, I6. Now, find out using the tables. You know the tables. How many times 6 is 48? 6. 8 times equal to 48. So here 6 and 8 are factors of 48. Now try 7. Try 7, see the table of 7. So here 7 tables is going to 48. See 48 is coming in the table of 7? No, not possible. Next, try 8. But you see, we already found 8 as a factor. Now we can stop here. Stop. We already found 8 as a factor of 48. Now let us see what are the factors of 48. Factors of 48 are, if you go 
in u shape you see u shape we will find all the factors in ascending order so the factors of 48 are 1 2 3 4 6 8 12 16 24 and 48 are all the factors of 48 now do we have any other way? Where do we stop trying to find factors? Here we can see that square number 49 is just coming after 48. 49 is the square number of 7. So here we can stop trying to find factors at 6 itself. Next, we are going to find out all the factors of a number using division method. In multiplication method, we wrote the number as a product of two numbers. Let us see how do we find out factors in division method. Look at this example 18 divided by 3 equal to 6. You know what is a quotient, remainder, divisor, dividend and all. All the terms in division, right? Here, 18 is the dividend, 3 is the divisor, 6 is the quotient. No remainder here. When we divide 18 by 3, there is no remainder. Here, remainder is 0. Then we can say 3 and 6 are factors of 18. Remember, when you divide one number by another and there is no remainder, that is, remainder is zero, the divisor and the quotient are the factors of the number. Okay? Let us take one example. Find all the factors of 28 using division method. Yes, try one. Every number is obviously divis divisible by one. So, we can write as 28 divided by 1 is equal to 28. Here 1 and 28 are factors of 28. Then we will try with 2. 28 is divisible by 2 or not. We have to check. You, you know that even numbers are divisible by 2. 28 is an even number. So 28 is divisible by 2. Let us find out what is the quotient. When we divide 28 by 2, we got the quotient as 14. We can write it as 28 divided by 2 is equal to 14. Here 2 and 14 are the factors of 28. Now try with 3. Is 28 divisible by 3? No. 28 is not coming in the table of 3. So we write not possible. Now try 4. 28 is divisible by 4 or not? Yes, because we know that 7 fours are 28. So 28 divided by 4 equal to 7. Yes, 4 and 7 are factors of 28. Now try 5. According to the divisibility rule, if a number is divisible by 5, then its units place or ones place should be 0 or 5. But in 28, ones place is 8. So obviously, we can say that 28 is not divisible by 5. So not possible. Now, we can stop finding factors here at 5. Why? Because just after 28, what is the next square number? 36. That is the square of 6. So we can stop trying finding factors at 5. Now let us see what are the factors of 28. We will go in U shape. The factors are 1, 2, 4, 7, 14 and 28 are the factors of 28. Now, let us take next example, 
use division to find all the factors of 72. Yes, we'll start with 1. Try 1. You know, 1 and 72 are factors of 72. Next, try 2. Here, 72 is a big number. So, we have to apply the divisibility rule. Check. 72 is divisible by 2 or not. For that, check whether 72 is an even number. Yes, 72 is an even number. So, we can say that 72 is divisible by 2. Let us see what is the quotient. When we divide 72 by 2, we got 36 as the quotient. So, we can write it as 72 by 2 is equal to 36. Here, 2 and 36 are factors of 72. Now, try 3. Then apply the rule of 3. What is the rule of 3? We have to sum up the digits. 72. The digits are 7 and 2. Add 7 and 2. Then we get 9. Yes, 9 is divisible by 3. So, we can say 72 also divisible by 3. Now, let us divide and see. 72 by 3 equal to 24. We got the quotient. Now, we can write 72 divided by 3 equal to 24. Here, 3 and 24 are factors of 72. Now, try 4. You don't know the uh, rule of 4. So, here we have to divide and see whether it is divisible or not. Let us divide and see if the remainder is 0, it is divisible or uh, 4 is a factor. Let us check. Yes, when we divide 72 by 4, we got the quotient as 18 and remainder is 0. That means 4 and 72 are factors of 72. Now, try 5. Here, rule of 5. What is the rule, divisibility rule of 5? If 1's place is 0 or 5, then it is divisible. But here, 72. 1's place is not 0 or 5. It is 2. So, 72 is not divisible by 5. We can write it as not possible. Now, try 6. Here, you know the tables of 6. Right? How many times 6 goes in 72? 12 6 are 72. So, we can write 12, 72 divided by 6 equal to 12. Next, try 7. 7 tables. 72 is divisible by 7? No. So, we write not possible. Now, try 8. You know the tables of 8. When we divide 72 by 8, what we get the quotient? 9. So, here 8 and 9 are factors of 72. Now, see, we can stop here because the square number just after 72 is 81. That is square of 9. So, we can stop finding factors at 8. Okay, now let us see what are the factors of 72. All the factors. Here, as I told you, let us see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, 12, 18, 24, 36 and 72 are all the factors of 72. Now, let us see how to find out common factors of two numbers. Children, do you know what you mean by common factor? Common factor is a factor that two or more numbers have in common. Now, look at this example. Find all the common factors of 6 and 9. First, find all the factors of 6. We know try 1, 1 into 6, 6, try 2, 2 into 3, 6. Here we can stop because 3. Next is try 3, it's already there. Now, find all the factors of 9. First try 1, 1 into 9, 9, try 2, not possible. Try 3, 3, 3 is a 9. Now, let us see all the factors of both the numbers together. Factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, 6 and factors of 9 are 
1, 3 and 9. Here you can see that 1 and 3 are same in both. So, 1 and 3 are common factors of 6 and 9. Now, we are going to see how to represent common factors using circles. For that, let us take two circles. In the one blue circle, the blue circle, we are going to write all the factors of 6. Now, take another circle, yellow circle. Now, in the yellow circle, factors of 9 are written. You can see that 1 and 3 are common factors, isn't it? So, what we have to do? Let us join the circle now. Yes, when we join the circle, look at the picture. There is a common portion here for both the circles, right? In this place, we are going to write the common factors 1 and 3. Now, what is remaining in the blue circle? Already we have written 1 and 3 in the common portion. Now factors of 6, you check factors of 6 in that which factors are left now? 2 and 6 are left. Now we will write over here. Now look, look at the yellow circle. Already 1 and 3 are written in the common portion. Now what is left? 9 is left that we will write over here. Okay. So we have to write the common factors inside the common portion of both the circles. Okay, children. Now, let us move on to the next example. Find all the common factors of 10 and 14. First, find out all the factors of 10. Try 1, 1 into 10, 10. Try 2, 2 into 5, 10. Try 3, try 4, not possible. We can stop there. Next, factors of 14. Try 1, 1 into 14, 14. Try 2, 2 into 7, 14. Try 3, try 4, try 5, not possible. We can stop. Let us see the factors together. Both the numbers. Factors of 10 are 1, 2, 5 and 10. Factors of 14 are 1, 2, 7 and 14. We can see here some common factors. Which are those factors, common factors for both that is 1 and 2. So, 1 and 2 are common factors of 10 and 14. Now, let us represent this using the circles. You can see here factors of 10 and factors of 14. We have used two circles over here. Factors of blue circle represent for factors of 10. And yellow circle for factors of 14. Now, what you have to do? Where is the common portion? Common portion is here. Here is the common portion. So, we will write the common factors over here. What are common factors? 1 and 2. Now, factors of 10. What? Which factors are left for factors of 10? 1 and 2 already we have written in the common portion. Now what are left? 5 and 10. Now factors of 14, 1 and 2 already written in the common portion. Now what? which factors are left now for 14? 7 and 14. So this is the way to represent common factors using two circles. Let us see the textbook exercise 5A, page number 100. Question number 5. Say whether the following are true or false. First question is, 5 is a factor of 15. Correct or wrong? If 5 divides 15 without a remainder, then we can say that 5 is a factor of 15. 
If we divide 15 by 5, yes, we get the quotient as 3 and the remainder as 0. So, this statement is true. Next, B. 6 is a factor of 9. True or false? Can 6 divides 9 exactly? If we divide 9 by 6, will we get the remainder as 0? No. We can see that 9 is not coming in the table of 6. So this statement also, that is false. Next question is, 0 is a factor of 4. Can 0 divide divides 4? Or 4 divided by 0 is possible? No, not possible. We can't divide a number by 0. So this statement is false. Next, which number D is? 1 is a factor of every number. Yes. Can we divide a number by 1? Yes. If we divide a number by 1, we get the same number. So this statement is true. Question number E. Every number is a factor of itself. Here, can we divide a number by same number? Yes, a number by same number is 1. So this statement is true. Next question is, Every number has exactly two factors. Is it true? Let us check. You know 1 has only one factor. 1 into 1 is 1. 1 has only one factor. How many factors for 2? 1, 2 are 2. 1 and 2 are factors for of 2. Now how many factors for 6? 1 into 6. 1 and 6 are factors. 2 3s are. 2 into 3 also 6. So 2 and 3 are factors. There are 4 factors for 6. So every number has only 2 factors? No. So that statement is false. Next is an activity for you. In this activity, we are finding all the factors of 12 with the help of rectangles okay there are 12 squares here the activity is form different rectangles using 12 squares what are the different kinds of rectangles you can make let us see now one way is here two rows you can see six squares in each row okay so that is six twos are 12 another way is there are four rows and three in each row so three fours are 12. Next, there are 3 rows with 4 squares in each row. So, 4 3s are 12. Now, we can see there are 6 rows and 2 squares in each row. 2 6 are 12. Here, there, there are 12 rows with 1 square each. So, we can write 1 into 12 equal to 12. Here, there is one single row. All the 12 squares are arranged in the in one row. So 12 ones are 12. Now let us see which are the factors of 12. 2 6 are. Here 6 2 are. 2 6 are. 2 times it is repeating. Okay. We will take consider only one time. Here also it is repeating. 3 4 are. 4 3 are. Again 12 ones are. 1 12 are. It is repeating. So the factors are 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 are the factors of 12. This activity you can do in the textbook exercise 5a will be given as homework. Okay children? We finished the chapter factors. Thank you children.